So the question today is, can you paint polymer clay super sculpey and then bake it in the oven? And the answer is absolutely. Good morning everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another video. I am in this video going to test something with polymer clay and um, do a little recap on some live sculpting that I did. Uh, it was just supposed to be a simple little live stream and I did two of them and pretty much got a project out of it so it was pretty cool. Um, if you missed that it's on my it's on my channel it's DVR so you can you know you can check back up on it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more live sculpting. Say hi I'm a cute little baby panda bunny rabbit maybe. It's a panda. It's a koala bear. What is this? I don't know. It's a rat. It's a cat. It's a cat rabbit. <laughs> Anyways, it was fun to make this. I was super nervous. Uh, I'm not nervous now because nobody's watching this. Uh, at least right now. You know what I mean? I'm filming. It's so different. It's so different being live. But uh, I, I, I enjoyed it so much. And... Um, well, I want to continue this stream too. I want to have a part three. So my problem I'm having is I I want to paint it, you know, live. I think that would be pretty cool. But there's a couple little things I want to do still to the sculpture. I want to add these little cartilage parts to your ears on the inside. That wouldn't take very long to do. And maybe some more texturing, you know, some final touches and everything. Uh, but then I have to bake it. And... You know, there's no way I would just stream while I'm baking it, while it's cooling. It's just too long. So what I'm thinking is, in this video, I'm going to test a small piece of Super Sculpey. I'm going to paint it, maybe two contrasting colors, and bake it. I want to see how this performs. All right, I'm going to use this scrap piece of marble to bake on. I don't need a very big piece of clay. This is probably too much. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is shape this to where it's thick on one side and thinner on the other. I'll just use this clay roller to do that. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's pretty good. Um, I wanted it a little thicker than that. So I guess I'll just add this little snake. It don't have to be anything fancy. Okay, I got something rather simple it's thick on one end then on the other there's a, some kind of detail going on there give me a little nylon brush and I'll start with the lighter color white I'm just doing white and black so we're gonna paint it on there and we're probably gonna do three good coats it's pretty much like normal painting you just gotta let it dry in between coats and for those of you who are wondering does acrylic paint dry onto polymer clay? It does. It is completely drying onto this clay. Reason that is, acrylic paint is water-based and polymer clay is an oil-based clay, but they're both plastics. So I wanna just have a little bit of fun with some, I guess, technical details. I'll just take this white again and dot it, little dots, you know, for good contrast. I want to see how these bond together, how it feels, how it looks. I want to take this palette knife before I bake this and cut the ends off and we'll use it for reference. That way we can compare. So I'm going to put this item right here in the oven and I'm going to bake it for, eh, I'd say 30 minutes. That's not quite a half an inch right there, but it's 15 minutes per quarter inch thickness for super sculpey anyways, and see how it turns out, see how the color if it stays if it's distorted brown or whatever we'll find out so let me do that and I'll get right back with you okay I baked this little guy here for 40 minutes a little bit longer than probably what I needed to but I wanted to make sure that if I can paint something and bake it plenty of time you know depending on how thick it is there's some pretty thick areas like around the rims of the ears is at least half an inch if not better so 40 minutes is a good test um, the whole point of this is to find out the color will hold up to it 
you know, so I could paint this sculpture. From what I can see, it's fully baked. That's for certain. Um, the, the paint is all dry. I could feel slight bumps right here where I put that those drops on top, which that makes sense. I'm adding extra material on the other paint that was already dry. The white's a little streaky, but that was a di just to maybe the characteristics of the paint, you know, the two different colors. But I would like to see real quick here, is there any change in color, especially the white? It's so close that it doesn't really matter. The question is, could I paint over this with white again? Just do a little section. Going by what I see here, I, I think it's fine to paint polymer clay and then bake it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a success, a successful testing. Well, guys, that pretty much sums up this video. I just needed to figure out which direction I'm going with this next live streaming to finish up this project. It turns out that I can paint polymer clay and then bake it. So I'm just gonna do the last little sculpting touches that I want to do, and then we're gonna paint it. And I hope you show up, you know, so you can help guide me. Um, I don't know if I have a particular direction. I just, maybe we can get crazy. Uh, anyhow, I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. Stick around. This live stream might be today. It very well might be today. At the latest tomorrow. So stay, stay close by. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. You guys are all awesome. See you here again soon.